Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim, hematologist in Claremont, California. This is a part of the uh, Hematology in 10 Minutes series. Today, we will study hemoglobinopathy, especially thalassemia. Hemoglobin is the main component of the red blood cells carrying oxygen from the lung to the tissues of the body. It is comprised of in molecules uh, and uh, globin polypeptide chains. There are four globin chains and the heme molecules in each globin subunits with iron molecule in the center. The main hemoglobin of the uh, normal adult is hemoglobin A, uh, uh, having two alpha chains and uh, two beta chains. There are other types of hemoglobins. Hemoglobin A2 is a normal variant of hemoglobin A, consisting of two alpha chains and the two delta chains. Normally, one, two, three percent of all hemoglobin molecules are hemoglobin A2. Hemoglobin F, or fetal hemoglobin, is composed of two alpha chains and the two gamma chains. And found in fetus and newborn babies up to six months old of age. It's able to bind oxygen with greater affinity than hemoglobin A, giving the fetus better access to the oxygen from mother's bloodstream and makes the ox uh, oxygen dissociation curve shift to the left, similar to the lower 2-3 BPG conditions. Uh, this is a common uh, frequent board questions. The normal hemoglobin F level is 0 0.5 or less. Hemoglobin A genes have a two alpha genes and a one beta gene in each chromosome, each inherited from mom and daddy. Therefore, we have a four alpha genes and two beta genes. The alpha genes locate in the chromosome 16, uh, two genes in each chromosome, so total four alpha genes. The beta gene locates in chromosome 11, one genes in each chromosome. So total, we have two beta genes. When globin genes are defective, the production of the globin change are impaired, resulting in imbalance of the structure of the globin, uh, globins, causing hemolytic anemia. Thalassemia develops when those alpha or beta globin genes are defective. All thalassemia, alpha and beta, is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. Alpha thalassemia is caused by defective alpha globin genes resulting in low or absent alpha globin synthesis. It is especially prevalent in Southeast Asia such as Vietnam, Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, and in Africa. When one or two alpha genes are missing, it's called alpha thalassemia trait or alpha thalassemia minor. You see this case, in this case, uh, one alpha gene is missing. Another case, one missing in each chromosomes, and the other two missing in one chromosome, and the other one have a two alpha genes. They have no symptoms except microcytic RBCs or very, very mild anemia, often confused with iron deficiency anemia due to microcytosis with MCB60 to 80. The cells are pretty small, as you see. But the uh, total RVC counts are usually over 5.5 million, and the target cells are present in the blood smear in both alpha and beta thalassemia. The target cells are the hallmark of uh, thalassemia seen in all kind of uh, uh, thalassemia, alpha, beta, minor, trait, major, uh, I like to mention that the patient with hemoglobin C disease can have target cells though. In alpha thalassemia trait, hemoglobin electrophoresis is normal, but in beta thalassemia, hemoglobin uh, A2 and the F, hemoglobin F are increased. We will discuss later. Therefore, when you have a patient with family history of uh, uh, alpha thalassemia and uh, is seeking uh, uh, genetic counseling before marriage with somebody who may have some uh, hemoglobin uh, problems, you may have to order the alpha globin DNA genetic test to confirm the diagnosis of alpha thalassemia. When 
three alpha genes are missing is called hemoglobin H disease. Uh, the, in this case, uh, three alpha genes are missing. They develop symptomatic hemolytic anemia, which is extravascular hemolytic anemia, as the uh, RBCs are destroyed in the spleen, causing splenomegaly. And they have a microcytosis. In my hematology practice, patients with hemoglobin H disease uh, present uh, frequently with the hemoglobin uh, 6, 7, uh, and the MCB 60s. When all four alpha genes are missing, uh, it forms the hemoglobin BARTs composed of four gamma globins. The fetus is not compatible with life due to development of hydrops vitalis. This ultrasound photo of a fetus with the hydrops vitalis shows ascites, skin edema, uh, pericardial effusion. When beta globin genes are defective, beta thalassemia develops. Beta thalassemia are frequently seen in people originating from the Mediterranean areas, such as Greece, Italy, Spain, and uh, Africa. When one beta globin gene is missing, it's called beta thalassemia trait or beta thalassemia minor. We write beta zero slash normal beta. They have no symptoms or very, very mild microcytic anemia. Target cells, RBC counts over 5.5 million and uh, often mistaken as iron deficiency anemia due to microcytosis, just like alpha thalassemia trait. But there is a difference between alpha and beta thalassemia trait in hemoglobin electrophoresis. In beta thalassemia trait, it shows increased level of hemoglobin A2 and uh, hemoglobin F. But in uh, alpha, uh, it's normal. There is one exception. Interestingly, when iron deficiency is coexisting with the beta thalassemia trait, the hemoglobin electrophoresis can be normal because iron deficiency state suppresses hemoglobin A2 synthesis. So when you suspect the uh, beta uh, thalassemia trait, uh, you don't want to order the hemoglobin electrophoresis unless you check their, his or her uh, serum iron and ferritin level you have to correct the iron deficiency before order, ordering that hemoglobin electrophoresis. When one beta gene is missing and the other beta gene is partially functional, producing less amount of beta globin, it's called beta thalassemia intermedia. We write beta zero, no beta gene in one chromosome, and a little bit of uh, uh, functioning beta genes in the other chromosome, beta plus. They have mild to moderate microcytic anemia, splenomegaly, gallstone, uh, requiring cholecystectomy and jaundice. These are caused by the uh, hemolytic anemia uh, destroyed by the spleen, increasing indirect bilirubin level, uh, resulting in uh, pigment bilirubin stone. When both beta genes are missing, it's called beta thalassemia major. Uh, developing severe hemolytic anemia within the first two years life, they have a kind of a characteristic facial uh, shape, bone uh, structure. The kids grow very poorly, develop, developing uh, splenomegaly, gallstone jaundice, and the iron overload from multiple blood transfusions. The iron deposit in the heart, liver, pancreas, causing heart failure, liver cirrhosis, diabetes. The bone marrow shows hyperactive, hypercellular erythropoiesis, but it's an ineffective erythropoiesis because the RBC destruction by the spleen in the peripheral blood. The peripheral blood smear findings of thalassemia major uh, shows again the many uh, uh, target cells and the pale uh, RBCs and the many different uh, shapes and the size of the red blood cells. Quickly revisiting hemoglobin electrophoresis. In beta thalassemia trait, the one example is hemoglobin A 
89.5%, which is slightly low. Hemoglobin A2, 6.5% is high, and the hemoglobin F, 4% is high. In alpha thalassemia trait or in normal person, uh, it's normal. For example, hemoglobin A, high 90s. Hemoglobin A2, 2%. You know, the normal value of hemoglobin A2 is less than 3%. So this is normal range. Hemoglobin F, 0.5%, which is upper normal range. Now, let's look at the real hemoglobin electrophoresis. The first strip, you see the mainly hemoglobin A and the very faint bands in, hem uh, in hemoglobin F and A2 zone, which is the uh, normal hemoglobin electrophoresis. It also can seen in alpha thalassemia trait patients. The second one, you see the mainly hemoglobin A with the increased amount of hemoglobin A2 with or without increased amount of hemoglobin F. This is the beta thalassemia trait. The increased level of hemoglobin A2 is the hallmark of beta thalassemia. It also seen in beta thalassemia major, but because of major, there is no hemoglobin A, but increased level of hemoglobin F. Sickle cell we haven't studied yet, uh, but roughly in sickle cell trait, you see the uh, main hemoglobin A with the increased level of hemoglobin S. Sickle cell anemia, SS disease, mainly hemoglobin S with the increased level of hemoglobin F, but without uh, hemoglobin A. The real photo in normal adults, you see the mainly hemoglobin A. Sickle cell disease, mainly hemoglobin S, you can have a some hemoglobin F. Sickle cell trait, again, the trait means you have a mainly hemoglobin A with the increased amount of hemoglobin S. What about the newborn baby with the sickle cell disease? Of course, you have a high hemoglobin S, but because of uh, newborns have a high hemoglobin F levels, you see the hemoglobin F, which will be gradually uh, uh, replaced by hemoglobin S. Thank you for watching.